Now, early in your careers, yeah. you've worn many hats. Yes. yes. You have separately been in workplaces. How have you felt your mental health has been? <laughs> Personally, perhaps, Peter, first to you. Have you been in a situation in, a, in another life where you've been in a workplace and you knew that you were suffering mm. and perhaps you yes. didn't know how to handle it at the time? I, yes, and, and I was in that situation because I, I'm in, in, during the 90s I did have bipolar disorder. Uh, diagnosed and I, I and I took medication for it and suicide was one of those options that I contemplated and um, until I reached a point one day they said that's it no more and I took a hundred percent responsibility I didn't know how I was going to do it but I started crawling out of that hole. What was the, f the first step to taking that responsibility that as you said that's it. To huge. realize to realize that it no matter how loving and beautiful people are around me no one is going to care about my life or should care about my life more than I do. I, I need to take care of my life. I need to find out my answer. I, I, I'm a unique individual and what might work for you is not exactly what works for me. But what did work for yeah. you? What for, for support me, did you my, get that worked? What I did was to go and, and research what had people that felt great about life did that I didn't do. <laughs> That's what worked for me. So, um, uh, you know, uh, Nelson Mandela, he seems to have it together. He was 27 years in prison. If I'd been 27 years in prison, I don't think I would have lasted too. You know, what did he do? How did he approach the world? What was his way of thinking? So I read a biography on Nelson Mandela. I, 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 I tried to soak up his personality, his way of, of acting, of understanding the world. Uh, Gandhi was another one, you know. Uh, going from trying to fit in with society to becoming a disruptor and, and through peace, through peaceful, mean, through peaceful means, to get rid of, a, of an empire in, in India. That, that's, a, that's a huge achievement. So how did he approach people? And, and, and it was incredibly similar. The Mandelas of the world and the Gandhis of the world and the Bransons of the world or Mother Teresa's of the world, they have a way of operating in which they do not act as a victim ever. And that was the, that was the lesson for me. And, and to, to realize that there was a pity party going on in my brain. <laughs> you two work closely yeah. together. Yeah. Have you ever challenged Peter and said, stop feeling sorry for yourself? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we, we keep each other accountable to that yes. all the time. So yeah. It has um, to happen. It, absolutely. Um, and, and I think it's helpful to have someone like, like that of around course. you, you know, whether it's uh, someone in the workplace, whether it's someone at home, and, you know, a friend, a family member. Yeah, we have and fun with that. Years ago, <laughs> did you discover for yourself the effects of um, mental ill health in a workplace? Uh, look, I don't think I've ever, I mean, we talk about where's that line where it crosses over into a mental health problem, something that's been diagnosable or not. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that crossed that line, but definitely, you know, our levels of mental well-being fluctuate. And there are definitely periods at work for one reason or another where I, I can remember, you know, having been more stressed. And usually it comes down to the dynamics of in 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 amongst people socially you had a hr boss <laughs> hr yeah, boss yeah, I've had... that was not very hr -ish. yes yeah <laughs> and and well i've had a number of different hr because that tends to be the the area of a workplace where i gravitate to and so i've worked with hr a lot and i've had you know exactly what i was praised for in one from one manager was what was a problem with another manager um and you know, the good thing is, I think because we adopt that philosophy of taking responsibility and taking that personal responsibility and not going into the victim space, that kind of allowed me to say, well, what are my options here? How am I going to deal with this? Can I, can I manage up? Is there any, what can I change in this dynamic? How do I want to approach it? Or when is the time for me to move on to a new challenge and, and take on something new because this situation simply isn't working for me? Um, and they're, they can be very difficult decisions for people to make. Um, you know, do I stay? Do I go? How do I, should I change me? Should I try and change them? How do I tease all of that out? Um, but for me, that making a decision and moving forward was what was most important, not to stay stuck in. in okay, great. Yeah.